Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about fine bugs, check style, and PMD, and specifically how you can run these in your Maven builds and then bring those results into Jenkins using that special Jenkins Next Generations Warning plugin. My goal right now is to get results for a PMD, find bugs, and check style evaluation of all of the code here in my Spring Boot application. Now, this is a Maven application. If I look at the root of this file, you'll see there's a POM file there. I want to pull this all inside of Jenkins, which means I'm going to need this GitHub URL when I create my Jenkins job. So I'm just going to copy that URL there just so that I've got it available for later. So that's the code that I want to run the various static code analysis tools on. Well, how do I do it and how do I get those reports back inside of Jenkins? Well, what you need to do is you need to install a plugin and that plugin is the Jenkins Next Generation Warnings plugin. So I'll come over here, click on Manage Jenkins, look for Available Plugins, put quote W in there and then you can find right away there's that warnings next generation plugin. I click the checkbox, I then click install without restart and hopefully it all downloads and installs automatically. I will say that sometimes it's a problem and then if it's a problem you just go back and install the plugin again but it looks like everything is going swimmingly here. Okay, so those plugins are installed. Now it's time to actually take advantage of those plugins. So how do you do it? Well, you create a new Jenkins job. I'm gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna make it a freestyle project and I'm gonna call it the Jenkins Warnings Example. Click OK to create the project. I do need to pull from that GitHub repository. I just copied that GitHub repository's Git URL a moment ago. So I'm gonna copy that again, just to make sure that I've got it on the clipboard. And then over here under source code management, I select Git. And it always takes a minute for Git to wake up. There it is, it woke up. And I'm just gonna paste that repository in there. So it, Git now knows, Jenkins now knows to pull from GitHub. Okay, and it's gonna pull from the master branch as well. Now, that is the pull, what about the build? Well, this is important here. So I'm gonna build with Maven, but it's not good enough just to do a compile, install, clean. You have to select invoke top level Maven targets. And from here, your goals are gonna be, I always do a clean install. That means the code will be compiled, tests will be run, the artifact will be created and stored in the targets folder, but that's not enough. You have to call PMD and you do it by, go, by typing in PMD, PMD. You have to file, fi, you have to run find bugs. So and you do that by typing in find bugs, colon find bugs. And you also need to run check style. And you do that by typing in check style, colon check style probably getting the hang of that. So that'll have Maven actually call these particular utilities on the code base. Then Jenkins will go in and pull the information and the results from those utilities into the tool so that you can view them as part of the output, part of the information about the build. Now, we're not done yet. I'm gonna click apply, but I'm not gonna click save because right now those reports won't get generated unless you use the static code analysis reporter. When I installed that warnings next generation Jenkins plugin, this link here became available to my build job. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna say, hey, I can pull in reports from a variety of resources, what do you want? And I'm gonna say, well, I actually want check style. And you know what, I don't only just want check style, I also want PMD. So I can click add tool again and look for PMD and select PMD. And also I wanted find bugs. So I'll click add tool and I'll look for find bugs, there's find bugs right there. And now I've got this tool configured, so I'm gonna get reports from check style, from find bugs, and from PMD right inside of the Jenkins UI after my builds run. So I click apply, and then I click the save button. I'll click on build now, and this will run. Run check style, run find bugs, run PMD, and report them all back to me in this Jenkins UI with the Jenkins Warning Next Generation plugin. Okay, and the build ran successfully. I'm gonna click on the build here, 
and take a look at the extra information that is now available on the build page. I always got the basic icons here for Git and the change recorder, but what I never got before was I never got this link for check style. I've never seen this link for PMD and I've never seen this link for find bugs. Now these are pretty cool because what you can do is you can go in and you can click on these three warnings and find bugs and the tool will actually break down how the various warnings in your code get categorized and you can even click on that link to your Java code and it's going to tell you exactly where in that code the error is. So I come over here, take a look at this game summary file and you can see, hey, exactly right there. It doesn't like the fact that I've got a mutable object there. I've got the, the date right in there. So that's a find bugs warning. Then you can do exactly the same thing with check stuff. So I can come over here. It's got some warnings about the style in my code. It's broken down into a bunch of different categories and issues. I can click on this issue right here about line length and game summary, and it's going to say, hey, this line 16, it's longer than 80 characters. It's at 87, and we don't like that as far as your style goes. And then finally, that was check style, and we also saw find bugs. I guess the last one is PMD. There's nine warnings there. And again, I can come in. looks like I violated a best practice here in the game service, and I've got an unused import. And so there you go. That's how you can integrate Jenkins with find bugs, PMD, and check style. And the key is that warnings next generation Jenkins plugin. And there you go. That's how you can get PMD check style, find bugs, all to work together inside of Jenkins using that next generation warnings plugin. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there, and we've got lots of great tutorial on. DevOps, enterprise software development, Jenkins, continuous integration, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.